Let us see about PWM inverter. So already we have seen about single phase inverter which consists of four devices T1, T2, T3 and T4. And this is the output of the single phase inverter. So this inverter you cannot control the output voltage. Suppose because this magnitude is fixed at supply voltage Vs. If you want to change the magnitude of this one you have to change the supply voltage. And this type of inverter is called a square wave inverter because the switches will conduct for the whole 180 degree. Let us see the disadvantages of single phase square wave inverter. This is the voltage expression which we have already derived in chapter 42. So this is the output voltage expression and this is the fundamental component. And if you see here, you have the harmonics, this uh, no. n equal to 1 is fundamental component, 3 is third harmonic, 5 is fifth harmonics and so on. So we can see here, the fundamental component is a higher value and you have third harmonic, fifth, seventh, that is all odd harmonics are present in the output voltage waveform. Actually, you can see here the dominant harmonic is third and fifth harmonic. So it is difficult to eliminate the lower order harmonics because when the frequency is lower, filter size will be large. So why we go for PWM inverter? So in inverter, we know it converts DC to AC. So if you want to um, control the output of the inverter, you have to vary this AC voltage using a AC voltage controller or you can vary this DC voltage using a rectifier or a chopper. But all these needs external components. Some external power circuit is required which will consume some power and it leads to losses. Now, in PWM inverter, we are controlling the switches of the inverter in such a way that the output voltage is controlled. So, that is called PWM inverter. So, the output voltage is controlled without any external components. So, let us see what is a PWM inverter. So this is a output of a square wave inverter. So in PWM inverter, the switches will be turned on and off at very high frequency. So this is what done in a PWM inverter. So within one cycle, half cycle you take, the devices are, so this part represents the device is off and this period device is on. So devices are on and off at very high frequency. So this is done so that the harmonic content in the output waveform is reduced. Let us see the advantages of PWM. So you are able to control the output voltage without any additional components. And here lower order harmonics are eliminated and higher order harmonics will be there. But we can easily design a filter to eliminate the higher order harmonics. There are different types of PWM technique. Single pulse modulation, multiple pulse modulation and sinusoidal pulse width modulation. So in this video, we will see about single pulse and multiple pulse modulation. Sinusoidal pulse width modulation is widely in used in industry, which we will see in the next video. In single pulse uh, width modulation, there will be only one pulse per half cycle. So you see here, only one pulse is there and the width of the pulse is changed to vary the RMS voltage. You can see here the magnitude remains the same only the width of the pulse is changed so the total RMS value will get changed. How to get this single pulse? So let us see here always to get in pulse width modulation you have a carrier signal 
so that can be a triangular waveform or a sawtooth waveform and it will be normally of higher frequency and a reference signal here a square wave is taken okay so this is a reference wave so you give these two signal to a comparator and whenever this reference signal is greater than the triangular signal a pulse will be produced so if you see here at alpha 1 and alpha 2 during this period this reference signal is greater than the triangular waveform so a pulse is produced this is how a pwm converter works and you can see here the reference signal frequency will determine the frequency of the inverter output waveform and the peak magnitude uh, you see this blue color waveform if you increase the peak value of the reference wave your pulse width will also increase so to vary the pulse width you have to vary the magnitude of the reference signal but the frequency will be determined by the frequency of the reference signal and modulation index is given by the frequent oh sorry magnitude of the reference wave divided by magnitude of the carrier wave so why this is important is if i keep on increasing the magnitude of the reference wave so when it becomes equal to ac a modulation index becomes 1 and if you increase uh, the reference wave more than this there will be no intersection between this triangular wave and the square wave. Let us find the RMS value of the output voltage. So you see here we are comparing a triangular wave and the square wave. So you are getting a gate pulse here. This is for transistor or thyristor T1 and T2. And when you compare in the negative side, you will get one more pulse which will be given as a gate pulse for transistor T3 and T4. So VRMS is equal to, so you see the output voltage waveform, it satisfies quarter symmetry that is around pi by 2, it has a symmetrical waveform. So I can take the time period as pi by 2, so pi by 2 I have written as 2 by pi because it is 1 by t I am writing as 1 by pi by 2 so it becomes 2 pi pi so you apply the limits so what is the limit so this point the total width of the pulse is delta so this will be 90 minus del by 2 and this half is 90 plus del by 2 so since we are taking only half of this pulse because it is symmetrical so pi by 2 minus del by 2 to pi by 2. So VRMS is this one. Let us do the Fourier analysis of this one. Same waveform. So it satisfies quota symmetry. So odd harmonics only will be there and A0 and AN term will become 0. And we will find what is BN. So BN, already you know how to do this one because already in previous chapters we have discussed about this one. So you apply the limits. So you will get what is BN. Now we will find the output voltage expression. So here in this, the peak value of the fundamental component is when N is equal to 1. So 4 Vs by pi into sine pi by 2 will become 1 and sine del by 2. So this is the peak value of the fundamental component. Then now you have to find how this PWM uh, single pulse PWM helps to eliminate the harmonics. So if you expand the output voltage expression you can see that if I want to eliminate third harmonics so this is third harmonic component this is 
fifth harmonic component. Suppose if I want to eliminate third harmonic component, so what I have to do? I have to make this part as zero. So this, how can you make it to zero? We know sine 180 degree is zero. So make del is equal to 2 pi by n. So you will get zero. So when del is equal to 2 pi by 3, if I substitute here 2 pi by 3, this part, third harmonics will become 0. And if I want to eliminate fifth harmonic, I have to make this phi del by 2. This part should be equal to pi. So what is the drawback of single pulse modulation? So at low voltage levels, this may introduce more harmonic content into the output voltage. Next, we will see about multiple pulse width modulation. So in multiple pulse width modulation, you have many pulses per half cycle. So here you have many pulses, but all the pulses will have equal width. So this should be ensured so that the waveform satisfies symmetry and harmonics will be reduced. How to get this multiple pulse? So you have a triangular wave and a square wave you compare it you can get pulses only thing the carrier frequency is a carrier signal has a higher frequency so let's let us analyze this one let us consider the two pulse modulation so uh, the waveform satisfies odd symmetry so only odd harmonics exist and a naught and a n term becomes zero so find bn so for this waveform let us find bn so the limits are gamma minus del by 2 to gamma plus del by 2 i have taken 2 here because two pulses are there so you simplify it you apply this formula and you can simplify it and find the output voltage expression and again same procedure how to eliminate the nth order harmonic so if you want to eliminate this uh, third order harmonic, make sure that either this 3 gamma is equal to 180 degree or this term becomes equal to 180 degree so that sine 180 will become zero and this third order harmonics gets eliminated. So the fundamental component of output voltage is reduced compared to single pulse modulation but uh, the lower order harmonics are reduced and higher order harmonics are increased. So if you have higher order harmonics you can easily filter out. But the problem is as you increase the number of pulses switching loss will also increase. So the points to remember here are Pulse width modulation is the internal control of inverter. It is an efficient method and here no peripheral components are required and harmonic content is reduced. Thank you. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle.